Hey guys, Mix here, and in today's video, I'm coming at you with a little bit of a different style video than what I usually do. I think it's best if we just take a break, not you know, like a full break, but like a video break, um, with the NASCAR build, because that thing has just been killing me. And come at you guys with a little bit different style of like a kind of like a vlog type style video, I don't know. But today we're gonna be unboxing and installing a part that I've been really just like saving up for and just really, really wanting to get. So a couple months ago, if you guys remember, I bought a set of rims for my truck, a 2003 Chevy S10 Extreme, and I bought those not knowing a thing about backspacing, offset, anything like that. I'd be like, yeah, the rims, they'll fit. Well, they're not. <laughs> the fronts will fit, but the backs, if you guys remember, are absolutely insane. They're like Tafio Dragster radios, <laughs> like they're nuts. So I finally went ahead and bought a new rear set of rims. Now they're not Greg Welds, like the brand uh, that the other ones were, because Greg Welds are super hard to come by. They're pretty rare nowadays. But they are Race Stars, and Race Stars bought some of Greg Weld uh, once Greg Weld kind of dis dissolved. <laughs> They're the same exact style, and I got a killer deal from Summit Racing uh, with them, so let's go check them out. So over there are the front rims that I just uh, cleaned, actually here, just saved this bird from my pool. He's just been sitting here this whole time, kind of just relaxing, so I'll just let him do his thing. But here are the front set, and I just cleaned them up, so I'm going to be taking these tires off there, uh, bias ply. Well, I'm not going to be taking them off, I'm going to bring them to a tire shop and get on, you know, some radials on there. But then over here, we have the package that I've been long awaiting for, and I cannot wait to see what these look like. Then before we unbox these, here are the rear set of rims that I bought a while back, and they are tw like a, a foot wide. They're 15 by 10s, and I ordered 15 by 8s this time. The stock rims of the trucks are 16 by 8, um, but 15s work perfectly fine on them, and I do plan on getting a, uh, a nice, bigger tire for the rear to really make it look aggressive. So let's open these up right now and see how they look. And it's so crazy how lightweight these are. There are two in here and I can just easily pick this right up. Like I could, I could probably pick it up, yeah, with my pinky. It's always good to uh, save some weight on your vehicle. All right. I'll probably only take out one just cause you know, they're both the same. Oh yeah, there's a Ford Lightning right there, like the Ford version of my truck, just way faster. Oh man. Dang. Oh yeah, these are sick. These are gonna look so good. Oh yeah. And then the center cap is right down here, the Race Star cap. So here's a little bit of a, a closer look at them. Probably looks a little bit weird with that center cap on it, but these are so clean. I hope it doesn't make the fronts look dirty. But God, these are just so nice. I've never ordered rims like online like this. You know, these were used off Facebook. Oh my God, so nice. But anyway guys, let's throw these in the back of the truck. And then I also have another surprise for you that I did on the truck. I didn't bother recording, you know, I did it with my friends and everything just for like a fun little thing, but it came out nice. But then we'll head to the tire shop. I'll see if they can uh, mount these on and then I need to get special lug nuts for them. So either they might have the lug nuts and they might be able to mount them on the truck for me, or if not, I can just mount them in my driveway. But I'm so happy how they look. So I don't know if any of you noticed, but the new mod is a side pipe. I used to run the pipe all the way back as you guys saw, but I changed it to this and it sounds so much better. It's so much louder, but less aggressive. And the tip on this is pretty big too, so it really makes the V6 sound really deep. been nicer if it was a cold start but I already have heat in it so the rims that are on it aren't bad but I feel like the rims that are on now kind of give it like a sedan or like SUV look I don't know and they kind of have like scrapes on them and the, the wheel gap in the back is pretty big so I feel like the race stars will give it more of like an aggressive look and really what I'm looking for but let's head there now and uh, hopefully I can get these tires mounted on
So I don't know how well you guys can hear, but it sounds so much better in the cab with the new exhaust. Alrighty, so I just got back from the tire shop and the tires are being ordered right now. They're gonna be here by this afternoon. So in the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead to a speed shop and get the lug and get the lug nuts that I need to get because they are like a special time. Like I need to get like the shanks because they need to go deeper. So hopefully they have them, they should. And then by the time I get back, because it is kind of a bit of a drive to the uh, speed shop, then the tires should be uh, at the tire shop. I gave them to them. And then I'll see if they'll install for me. If not, then I can just do it, like I said before. But I got 255s for the rear, which is pretty nice. 255 60R15s. So they're a little bit wider, a little bit thicker of a sidewall, which is exactly what I wanted. And it is definitely going to look really, really nice. I've seen people put 275s um, on a 15 by 8 tire on a stock S10, like stock rear end S10, with no issues. But I don't need that much tire. I'm still like stock. <laughs> I'm just basically doing this for looks, and then it could help if I do like a little build with this and try and get some more power down to the ground, down the road. Look at that far drive ahead of me. I'll see you all once I hopefully get the load nuts. Okay. So I just got all of the uh, lug nuts, so now I just gotta wait for the call that the tires are here, and then the S10 will be looking mint. Two hours later. So guys, it is a little bit while later from the last clip and the rims are on. I went through a hustle to get them done today. Uh, the speed shop that I went to gave me the wrong lug size for the uh, rear 14 millimeters, which are massive. They just went right over the studs. So I literally had to run around, find a place before they closed and I found the place and then I got there and they were closing up. But they were awesome enough to squeeze me in to put on the rears. The fronts were already on, so I was just running the fronts with uh, the old tires. But those are on, everything's on, and here's how it looks. Oh wait, and also, the front tires will look better. The front tires will look better. Um, I need to like, re-chrome them, you know, like, at least clean them up or something. Because right now they're a little bit clouded just from sitting and everything. But once I do that, it's gonna match the back and it's gonna look way better. So, here's just how it looks right now. it is actually the next day from the last clip uh, I got light out last night but I just got back from AutoZone and I want to try and clean up the, the front of those wheels because it is just driving me crazy so I just picked up some of this stuff I mean I never used it before but there's a guarantee on it so I'm gonna give it a shot I started using like the bottom portion and it kind of looks like it's working but I haven't really you know, gone full-fledged yet and then I also might just like put like silver nail polish or just something on this uh, just in the meantime until I get those spacers for the center cap because that is also just like driving me nuts. This side's pretty clean compared to the other side, but let's just see how this works. finish this side and I think it's definitely a little bit better I mean still not as you know shiny as that side obviously but, but I do think it is a little bit better and I did see it you know take some stuff off of the uh, finish of the rim but I'm gonna come around to this side and I'm just gonna do a quick before and after uh, you know in the same position to see you know if there really did make a difference I mean up close I don't know how well the camera's gonna pick it up but there are like swirls and ton of little scratches not really gonna put that cleaner to the test so before and after so definitely this stuff works I mean as I was doing it I saw like a crossover uh, between like cloudiness and it shining up. I'll add in that picture that I took right there. It's pretty cool So it did definitely equal out a little bit But I'm gonna see if there's like shops or anything that 
you know, is really professionally done to really revive chrome. I'm pretty sure that there is. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is cover up the whole entire rim, the brakes, uh, probably the tires, and all around here. Well, maybe not cover all of that, but just like confine everything to the center of this so I can just put a quick little coat over it just so it's not sticking out like a sore thumb. It doesn't have to last long, just long enough to, uh, you know, until I get those spacers to put the center cap back on because that is just annoying the heck out of me. But hopefully I don't get any overspray on uh, the new rims, the new tires, or the truck itself. So at first I was just going to sand it down before I paint it, but the rust is actually coming off pretty easily. So I think I'm just going to stay with this instead of uh, painting it. The inside of here is still a little bit rusty, but I might be able to get something, you know, a little bit uh, smaller, like actual like sandpaper, not a sanding block, and just get in there and kind of just get at it. But for now, this is coming out great. So I just finished up sanding both sides, and it's definitely less of an eye catcher. I can't believe how well it cleaned up, too. So I think that's just about it for what I could do with these rims for now. So there's a little bit of a uh, comparison. The front ones all cleaned up, and the back ones. So I mean, it's getting there. But anyway, guys, I'm going to be ending off the video here. Comment down below if you guys kind of like uh, this style video, because if, if you guys do like more of like vlog stuff and what I do outside of working in the shed, then I can definitely pump out a ton more videos of just stuff that I really just do other than building. But that doesn't mean that the videos with the builds won't stop because I am invested in this. It just means that between build episodes, then there'll be videos to entertain you all while I'm making another video with another build. Or with, in this case, with the NASCAR build. Definitely let me know that down below and how you guys like the truck videos and everything like that. But follow my social medias, they will be on the outro of this video, Instagram and Snapchat I use the most. Next video with the half scale NASCAR build should be um, finishing up the sprockets and everything. I'm still waiting on one more sprocket, I believe, to come into the mail. And then I can just slap that on real quick, uh, get the sprocket on the axle all good to go, weld that up, get the shift linkage going. And then we also need to put back in the engine, but that should be nice and quick. But then the NASCAR should be able to drive under its own power for the first time in a while. But anyway, follow my social medias. They will be on the outro of this video, Instagram and Snapchat I use the most. But thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, comment, tell your friends about the channel.